Hello, my friend, Miami Dolphins fan, it's always great to have you here. I would like to tell you that this channel only exists because of you, my fellow fans. Raheem Mostert, Miami's leading rusher, has been dealing with an ankle injury he sustained during the Dolphins' 31-17 victory over the New England Patriots. On Thursday, he made a limited return to practice, signaling his potential return to the lineup. Mostert has been a standout performer this season, accumulating 520 rushing yards and 10 touchdowns on 97 carries. He's also contributed in the passing game with 19 receptions for 151 yards and 2 touchdowns. Mostert has been a regular absentee from Wednesday practices this season either due to injuries or as part of the team's strategy to provide veteran rest. Nevertheless, he expressed confidence that he'll be ready to play on Sunday, stating, feeling a lot better. It was just a little hiccup, but now we're doing good. I'm ready to go. In the event that Mostert's participation is limited, the Dolphins can turn to Jeff Wilson, who is returning from a ribs and finger injury that led to his placement on injured reserve, and Salvon Ahmed, averaging 3.2 yards per carry on his 16 rushes. Coach Mike McDaniel praised the toughness of tight end Durham Smythe, hinting that his ankle injury won't keep him from playing against the Chiefs. Smythe serves as a run-blocking facilitator and personal protector for quarterback Tua Tagovailoa. While he isn't heavily targeted in the passing game, Smythe averages 49 offensive snaps per game, a crucial role for the team. Last week, he played 51 snaps despite suffering the injury early in the game. Come be another member of my family of passionate Miami Dolphins fans. Subscribe to the Fins Up news channel and you will always be well informed about our team. Should Smythe be unable to play or have his snap count limited, Julian Hill is the likely replacement. The Dolphins also have veteran tight end Tyler Croft on the active roster, with Tanner Connor and Nick Bowers on the practice squad. Miami can elevate two practice squad players for each game, and Connor has already been elevated twice this season. However, the Dolphins have also encountered new injuries. Braxton Berrios, the slot receiver and primary return specialist, was limited during Thursday's practice due to a hamstring injury, following previous limitations related to a knee injury. Cornerback Justin Bethel, a special teams contributor, was limited due to a new foot injury. Furthermore, Robert Hunt, the Dolphins' starting right guard, missed his second practice due to a hamstring injury, raising doubts about his availability for Sunday's game. On a more positive note, cornerback Xavier Howard, center Connor Williams, receiver River Crockraft, and defensive tackle Taron Armstead continue to participate in practice on a limited basis. Their potential return to the lineup will depend on their performance in practice and the medical staff's evaluation of their injuries. With Sunday's 9.30 a.m. game approaching, the Dolphins are working diligently to ensure they have a strong and healthy lineup as they prepare to face the formidable Kansas City Chiefs. Fans eagerly await the outcome of these key players' returns as they hope to see their team secure a victory in the upcoming AFC showdown. 